What's up beat makers? In today's video, I'm going to break down every instrument I used in the song I just released, I Can't Go For That by Daryl Hall and John Oates. If you want to see how I mix my vocals, watch my previous video. We're going to try to do this in three minutes if we can. Let's go. The song starts out with drums, so let's take a look at the drums first. Here's what they sound collectively. So I've got one, two, three, four drum tracks here. I started with the Ableton 606 core kit. I didn't change anything here. Pretty quiet. To give the drums a harder hit, I added a second kit. This is from a machine expansion, I believe. And I added the Transient Master by Native Instruments on top of this to give it an even harder hit. For the claps, I just downloaded a clap from splice.com. So after the drums, the bass comes in. And you'll see that I have two basses in here. They're actually the same instrument. The Scarby J bass by Native Instruments, and the second one is playing the same thing, although I've added the Waves CLA bass to it. So this is the lower one. The other one is pitched one octave higher. Together. For a bass guitar, you really can't beat the Scarby basses by Native Instruments. They sound so realistic. The next instrument that comes in is the DX7 by Arturia. And for this one, I'm using the preset ROM 1A electric piano. This is the classic electric piano sound from the DX7. Then several other things start coming in. First and most prominent is another electric piano. This is by the Scarby Vintage Keys and I'm using the A200 Dreamatizer. And I've added something to this. Let's just listen to that by itself. I wanted to add some harmonics to it so I used the UAD SPL Twin Tube. And I also added to it the Transient Master to make it snappier. At the same time, we've also got the guitars coming in. This is from Nexus Expansion Guitars, Steel Fuzzy preset. Now, as this progresses, you're gonna to start to hear some strings come in, and those strings are coming from the Selena V by Arturia. Here, you can hear them coming in there. Of course, I could have used my own Selena, but it was under repair, so I wanted something real quick. Certain parts of the song I've also added, but it probably comes across as a rhythm guitar in the song, but it's not really. It's from the plugin Signal. It doesn't sound like much by itself, but it's adding this rhythm in the background. I didn't add too many effects to these instruments except for that electric piano. The other ones I'm just playing the presets. I needed to put this song together really fast, so I just picked the best presets I could find. I did use a riser at one point in the song between the verse and the chorus. Last, I should mention what's on the master track, Valhalla Vintage Burn. It's mixed in with very little and very little d decay as well, so it's not very noticeable. I sometimes add a reverb to the master track just to pull everything together to make it sound like it's been performed in the same place. Then I mastered it with Ozone 9, and of course, on top of that, I had to add Gulfos, which is my current favorite plugin. If you don't have Gulfos, go check out my video about it because I have an exclusive exclusive discount code that's still active right now. It's awesome and I add it to every single track. And with Gulfos, Gulfos does this very, very subtle thing to your mixes, but I always put it on there because it just does that last bit of EQ to take the song from 90 to 100%. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and hit the like button if you like this video. Keep making the music you love and watch one of these videos next.